What is a kilty? It's a word that gets thrown around in the boot world quite a bit, but what is it and why do we even bother with them? A kilty, also known as a false tongue, is a strip of leather designed to provide additional protection to the tongue of a boot. This leather accessory typically attaches to the lower portion of the boot's tongue, extending upward. Its primary purpose is to safeguard the softer gusset material, which forms the boot's tongue, from external elements and friction by the laces, when you're lacing it up and tightening. You can see the kilty starts right here. By acting as a shield, the kilties add an extra layer of durability and resilience to the boot, enhancing its overall function and longevity. Secondarily, the kilty serves as an aesthetic function, contributing to the distinctive appearance of certain types of footwear. Here we have a 64 tan, 64 black, and our bison. To understand the modern day function of the kilty, let's dive into its history. The boot kilty has its origins in traditional Scottish dress. It's believed to have been inspired by the decorative and functional elements of the Scottish kilt. Originally, the kilty served a practical purpose, helping to protect the wearer's feet and ankles from debris such as mud, dirt, and stones. Over time, it became a stylistic feature, particularly in traditional and outdoor footwear. The term false tongue refers to the fact that the kilty is not a functional tongue in the sense of aiding in the closure of the shoe or boot. Rather, it's an addition on top. Why wear a kilty? The kilty provides an extra layer of protection in the form of full grain leather. The gusset material, while it's made out of high quality leather, is much thinner than the rest of the boot to allow flexibility needed to put the boot on your foot. The kilty reduces wear on the boot itself, increasing the lifespan of your boots. When kilties get dirty and crusty, it's easily replaceable at minimal cost. Kilties provide extra comfort. The extra layer of protection not only keeps debris out, it also makes the lacing of the boots more comfortable. If you're lacing tight right over the top of your foot, especially right here, just lacing only over the three to four ounce gusset, you're going to feel the bite of the laces. When you lace with the kilty, you're going to distribute that tension a little bit better and it's going to make the boot a bit more comfortable overall. Not only are kilties functional, but they look good. Lots of people customize their boots, so to speak, by putting different colored kilties. It's a very easy and inexpensive way to create a two-tone look without committing to two-tone construction. We have a few styles of kilty. We have the classic logger, the packer style, and a dress style with a more subtle rounded end. These all serve the same purpose, but with slight visual differences. The detail at the bottom is purely aesthetic. The logger kilty. Logger boots are often subjected to harsh conditions such as rough terrain, heavy machinery, and exposed to elements like mud and water. The false tongue serves as a barrier against all of this. This extra layer of protection helps prolong the lifespan of the boot and maintain the comfort and safety of the wearer, especially in demanding work environments. One thing to keep an eye out for is that the classic NYX Logger Kilty has six points. In terms of aesthetics, Packer Kilties classically feature decorative elements such as intricate stitching, tooling, or embossing that complement the overall design of Western style footwear. These embellishments may vary in style and intricacy, reflecting the craftsmanship and the heritage associated with Western bootmaking traditions. Here at NYX, the Packer Kilty is a minimalist design, only keeping the classic shape and style at the bottom here. Packer tongues can enhance the comfort and fit of the boots by helping to maintain the position of the tongue prevent it from shifting during movements. This stability is essential for ensuring a secure and comfortable fit, especially during activities such as horseback riding or ranch work where foot support and stability are paramount. Overall, Packer or Western false tongues are integral components of Packer boots and Western style footwear, combining both aesthetic appeal and practical functionality to enhance the overall performance and durability of the iconic Western boot. And finally, our heritage kilty. Nix developed its own casual wear kilty because some people weren't comfortable with the tassels or frills of the standard logger or packer style. For our heritage line, we decided to take the kilty concept and cut the embellishment off of the bottom and create a cleaner look. Maybe more acceptable appearance for people who aren't used to wearing a western or logger style look. So the Nix casual style kilty was born. For those of you who are concerned that the kilty doesn't come to the top of the boot, we offer an 11 inch kilty in all three styles. 
Standard kilties don't go all the way to the top of the boot because typically protection all the way up is not needed. Most people wear pants when they're out working, so your pant leg is what protects the gusset the most. However, in extreme cases, if you need that protection all the way to the top, then we offer this. Do keep in mind if your boot is eight inches or shorter, you'll have to cut the top off. The 11 inch kilty is designed to sit flush with the top of a 10 inch boot. How do you lace in a kilty? They lace right into the boots at the bottom eyelets. And then you lace your boots just like normal. You can also check out this video about lacing your work boots. Do you need a new set of kilties? You can easily find all of our kilty options under boot care and accessories on our website, nicksboots.com. Let us know your favorite kind of kilty in the comments down below. We hope you found this video helpful and have a nice day.